What's up there game boys and game girls? Welcome to Comic-Man 06 Reviews. So, obviously, you read the title of this video. If you don't make that, I made that on this talk on Wonder Woman 1984. But this is the review on it. So, let's talk about the DCU first. It's had a weird history. A very weird universe. From flop after flop, but to becoming big successful films. Let's talk about it. So, if you think I'm gonna diss this movie, you're wrong. Let me explain. This show number one is made for real comic book nerds and fans. What do I mean by? Not fans who've seen five Marvel films and five DC films or superhero films in general and think, hey, I'm a fan of these characters and I'm a comic book nerd. No. These are for fans like me, who read out books on these characters, who grew up living there in writers like Stanley, Steve Ditko, Bill Finger, Gob Kane, and all the other ones. Jack Kirby too. So yes, Joe Sh Schumacher, all of them, t and they really in general inspire filmmakers like I said, I messed up. Joe Schumacher, Tim Burton, Sam Raimi, all of them. Inspired all of them fans right there, including Christopher Nolan, to make these films. So, let's talk about Wonder Woman 1984. Like I said before, Wonder Woman in general is a powerful character for, well, female in general. As Wonder Woman in general speaks to the kind heart of female in general, telling all little girls around the world, you can be heroes. It inspired many people. So, yes. This film in general, I don't have many, I have a lot of flaws with it, but I still love the film. Cinematography is like a perfect cinematography of the film. Like it doesn't look bad, as the film goes far to say. Like the film doesn't look nowhere near bad. I love the coloring of the film. Its plot line is a little bit off on sometimes. Like she, the girl being in the film, is weird to me. Like she could have been in the film still, but not turned into she, the girl. Like save her for at least a little bit more time. But the film in general isn't a bad film. It's like here's what they did. Warner Bros. right here. Take this check and go make the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 1984 movie. Do whatever you want with it. Just don't come back to us where you're not interfering with our workers anymore. One billion dollars? Let's go. That's what they have basically done. They made the film in general that it speaks to the heart of the original Wonder Woman fans. So yes. The plot of this film is pretty simple. In 1984, Wonder Woman is keeping her life under secret, but working, well, you guessed it, at an antique art 